there. So today I'm going to be showing you the final kind of bunch of lipsticks that I have in my collection. So if you kind of watch my channel, then you'll know that I've done a major declutter. I really wanted to, I just wanted to like get rid of a lot of the makeup that I had because I had an epiphany where I just kind of realized that the love that I once had for makeup had extinguished it had extinguished and although I still do enjoy makeup and I really do enjoy when I have time you know to sit there and pop makeup on and I really love the kind of you know the holy grail products that I have I just kind of realized that I didn't need to buy every new release because like ultimately like you only need to have we don't need to, like you do you, you do whatever you want to do, of course, like this is just for me, like I realised that it was just very wasteful, like not only like money wise, but it wasteful like sp storage space wise, because I was just like st storing all, all of these makeup products and was I using any? No, I was just using the same handful of products like every single day. I have really you know been quite savage and I've got rid of loads of stuff I do have two boxes left uh, full of lipsticks so on this side we've got you know your traditional kind of lipstick bullet and then on this side we've got lip glosses and then we've got liquid lipsticks I just thought today I can kind of do a a kind of hybrid kind of video so I can show you which lipsticks I still have left in my collection like which ones survived the cull and I can also take a second look because honestly like there's no way I'm going to be wearing all of these lipsticks there's so many sympathy saves you know the lipsticks that I've never really worn but I've kind of justified keeping them with that that mantra of there's going to be a day when I'm really going to want to wear like a matte peach lipstick that does not suit my skin tone that is very uncomfortable that i've never worn until this day but i'm going to keep hold of it because you never know that day may come the day is probably not going to come and if it does it, you're probably not going to be that bothered anyway that you don't have that lipstick that you never gave any attention to before then okay so after that very long intro we're going to jump in so we're going to start with the lipstick bullets the lipstick that i'm actually wearing right now do i wear her a lot definitely not but when i do i feel a million dollars so i think that's reason enough to keep her so this is by pat mcgrath and it's called psycho candy the formula is exquisite it feels really really comfortable the pigmentation off the scale i've just realized it's all over my teeth oh well i got her on sale because you know I cannot afford Pat McGrath prices um, and she was like oh my gosh like the deal of the century she wasn't definitely not but I really like felt really happy that I found her and yeah I would definitely recommend this would I recommend her at full price um I don't know but probably not actually no probably not so we're definitely going to be keeping it psycho candy so sticking with Pat McGrath we have another of her um, lipstick so this one is actually a matte trance and the psycho candy is a luxe trance so pretentious so this one is um a matte surprisingly and it's a super beautiful like it's a nude but it has a subtle but very warm peachy undertone i would say that this is definitely up there with my favorite lipsticks i'd say it's definitely my top three so there's no way no way jose i'm gonna get rid of her um because i do actually wear her a lot in videos um i don't really wear her a lot out of the house i don't really wear lipsticks out of the house at all i tend to just wear like lip balms because i just want comfort when i'm out of the house but you know when i'm filming or I don't know why I don't wear lipsticks out of the house, actually. I think I stopped doing it. You know, when we had lockdown and everyone decided to wear masks. Oh my gosh, guys, I've just looked up the time. Do you know what? Today, I think we're going to just do the, the lipsticks and then I'll do part two to cover the other, you know, the glosses and the liquid lipsticks because we have a lot. So, okay, I'm going to get move on. I'm going to get your skates on. Go, 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 girl. Okay, so the next uh, lipstick is by MAC and it's in the shade Blankety. I would definitely say if you've got quite fair skin, and you struggle 
picking a nude because they all just like wash you out. A uh, blanket is a really good one to go for because it's very pink undertoned and I just think it's like so beautiful and I love it and I love the formula, it's really comfortable. So yeah, blank tea, she ain't going anywhere and this is actually a repurchase. So I think if, you know, it's that kind of thing, you know, tell me you love a lipstick without telling me and then you just show the lipstick and say repurchase. You know, that, that TikTok thing, that's kind of, anyway, oh my gosh, look, I'm still not moving fast, am I guys? No, she's not. Okay, so guys, the next lipstick again, this is in my top, 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 top shelf of favourite lipsticks. So this one is by NARS and it's part of the NARS, it's a weird name, it's not weird, it's a bit pretentious, Narcissist. I don't know. And, and, and is it the narcissist? Am I making that up? Because now that I'm thinking about it, why would any brand want to name their product after a very serious antisocial, like, you know, personality disorder? I feel like a lot of the time we don't question it, but narcissist. That's the name. Am I just making this up? I don't know. But now I'm really thinking about it. I'm like, oh my gosh, what next? Psychosis lipstick. So this is the most beautiful peach ever. It's my favourite lipstick in the whole world. There's no way that I'm ever going to get rid of this whilst it still has some lipstick for me to use. And um, unfortunately, this shade has been discontinued. Fuck you, Naz. Because how rude. Um, so anyway, this is beautiful and I'm not going to get rid of her. And I'm afraid to use her up because I, it'll be a bit sad. Not really sad. It'll be a bit sad but not really. Okay, so moving on, we actually have three ABH lipsticks. Uh, so we have two, oh, so these are all mattes. So there were two that I actually got from TK Maxx that they were like six pounds each and I literally just bought them because it was like, oh, ABH, six pounds, I'm getting them. You don't care what colour it is, but you think ABH, six pounds, I'm on it. So this one is soft touch and this one is soft pink. They're both very nude. Do you see a trend happening here? Like, I, I feel like my favourite shade is either it's nude with a pink undertone, nude with a peach undertone, or peach. Like, they're like my, my faves. Or I like nude with a brown undertone too. So we have, yeah, uh, soft touch, soft pink. But you know what, the Pat McGrath one, at Peep Show, the nude with uh, peachy undertones, that one is actually very similar to uh, this one, which is soft touch. And I prefer the Pat McGrath, so... Yeah, that's why this one does get overlooked a bit, but one day I'm probably maybe going to use her. There I go again with that excuse. Do you see how naturally it comes? Like, but one day I'm going to use her. It just, I bet you say that as well when you're trying to declutter. And the, the ultimate justification that never fails for you to keep hold of everything is, but one day I may really want to use this. I may really need this shade. We're just lying to ourselves, guys. But my very favourite ABH lipstick is this one. It's called Hollywood and it's a very beautiful peach. So I bought this because I thought that she was going to be a perfect dupe for the NARS lipstick that I love that's been discontinued. Unfortunately, there are differences. It's not like a perfect dupe, but they are very similar. And I would definitely say if you're looking for a beautiful a peach lipstick, then I would definitely recommend Hollywood by ABH. Okay, so moving swiftly on, I have this, which is by L'Oreal. It's a Glow Paradise and it's in the shade Apricot Desire. Apricot Desire. I bought this because I really like the L'Oreal hybrid like lip balm. Well, like I like tinted lip balms. Like I really like them, the colorish ones. And I thought this was going to be like that, but peach. It turns out this one is shit. Like the formula's not that good and I don't mind her but I don't love her. I just don't think she really has like that lip balm element that the um the other ones have. So I'm gonna keep her though. Oh my gosh I'm gonna keep her just because on occasion when I'm having like teams meetings and I just want to grab something she's a really good one to go for when I've got no makeup on because she's peach and she's sheer. Just makes you look a bit more like I'm alive, I'm awake, I am capable of any questions and anything you need me to do today. She's handy. Look at the justification starting. She's handy. She's easy to just reach for. You can wear her on no makeup days, but she's still shit. She's still shit. But I'm going to keep her. I'm keeping her, guys. Not ready to let go yet. Do you know what? I'm not ready to let go of any of these. Let's face it. Oh, 
maybe one but probably not so this one is by uh, mark and it's called cool companion i kept this because i used to like really enjoy like mixing this with a brown nude uh, from mac but i actually used the brown nude up and now i'm left with this and i don't necessarily think that i'm going to be reaching for her so and i've had her for ages all the other ones are relatively new but this one i know for a fact could be older than my youngest son so i am going to get rid of her give me a pat on the back guys whoa she got rid of one she got rid of one okay so the last lipstick that i have is ruby woo which is the iconic lipstick from mac so this is the most beautiful um red they do say it's like a blue undertone red which I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm seeing the blue. I really like the lipstick. The colour is beautiful and when it's on your lips it has this kind of velvet look to it which I think is very unique and it's very beautiful. The only downside is which is something everyone kind of complains about. It's so uncomfortable but I think you know most people when they buy this they go into it knowing it's going to be like as uncomfortable as your smear test so there's no way i'm going to get rid of her i'm going to keep her she's probably as maybe as old as my eldest child um but like i don't think i'm going to have any issues with her okay so because i th this has been like 15 minutes it probably shorter once i've edited it i've just talked a lot more i wanted to be snappy and be like do, 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 do. this is what we got this is what we got but you know me like that never happens but i am going to do a part two where i'm going to be showing you which glosses and liquid lipsticks survive the cull and you never know you never know we may get rid of a few more probably not if this has been anything to go by but you never know guys you never know i'm looking at a few of them and i'm thinking your days are numbered also just to let you know that i am going to be showing you which of my other makeup survived the call so which highlighters do i still have blushes foundations etc so this is like a series because i just feel like you know makeup content from me is definitely like reducing so i feel like in a way this is i don't want to say nice way to like wrap it all up but i i don't know maybe like there's a part of me that hopes that i could inspire you it's in some way maybe just to say look like look at your makeup just question do you really want want it I, and i know if you've already bought it like that's not saving you money but i think once you start to really like look look at your makeup and and you know like marie kondo she always asks those three questions like does it bring me joy do i have a need for it like does it serve a purpose or there was another one which i have no idea what it was no i can't remember but i just feel like once you start to like really question the the things you have in your life then that ripples out so then next time you're out shopping and you're looking at all of the new makeup releases you could maybe like start to question it that and say look do i really need this because i've got like five of these in exactly the same shade at home uh, because i think you know we, we are we are going through an economic crisis no matter where you are in the world right now i think everyone's apart from billionaires and the very wealthy everyone's kind of going to feel the crunch at some point the crunch i meant to say the pinch i said the crunch but we're all gonna you know be in some way impacted and if i can help you just say save money i don't know what, what am i saying i don't know who is she anyway guys i'm gonna go but if you do want to see part two i will get that video up in the next week or so i um really want to say thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one bye